Goramara National Park Bengali Goramara Jatiya Udiana Pran G R M R Goramara Jatiya Udan is a national park in northern West Bengal India Located in the Doors region of the Himalayan foothills it is a medium sized park with grasslands and forests It is primarily known for its population of Indian rhinoceros The park has been declared as the best among the protected areas in India by the Ministry of Environment and Forests for the year 2009 History Goramara was a reserve forest since 1895. The park was declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1949, on account of its breeding population of Indian rhinoceros. It was declared an Indian National Park on 31 January 1994. Originally as small as 7 square kilometres, Goramara has grown by incorporating neighbouring lands to about 80 square kilometres. Geography Political geography – The park is located in the Malbazar subdivision of Jalpaiguri district, in the state of West Bengal in India. Physical geography – Goramara is located in the eastern Himalayas submontane Terai belt. This region has rolling forests and riverine grasslands, and is known as the Doors in West Bengal. The park is located on the flood plains of the Murti River and Radak River. The major river of the park is the Jaldaka River, a tributary of the Brahmaputra River system. In this regard, Goramara is a significant watershed area between the Ganges and Brahmaputra River systems. The park is very close to Jaldapara National Park and Chapramari Wildlife Reserve. The park is 79.99 km miles in area. Climate, the temperature ranges from 10 to 21 degrees Celsius 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit from November to February, 24 to 27 degrees Celsius 75 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit from March to April and 27 to 37 degrees Celsius 81 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit from May to October. Rainfall mostly occurs between mid-May to mid-October and average annual rainfall is 382 centimeters 150 in. Human history There is no history of human habitation in the park. The park forest bungalow dates back to the British Raj era, and contains a well-maintained log book from its inception, which makes for interesting reading. However Goramara is encircled by many ethnic villages. More than 10,000 resident forest villagers derive their income from sources including employment in forest department activities, ecotourism, etc. Some of the villages are Sarswati, Budhiram, Bikabanga, Chatua, Kailipur and Murti Forest Village. <laughs> Natural history Biomes <laughs> 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 The park falls in the Indomalaya ecozone. Inside the park, the primary biomes corresponding to the ecozone are Terai Duar savanna and grasslands of the tropical and subtropical grasslands, savannas, and shrublands biome Lower Gangetic Plains moist deciduous forests of the tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests Both of these are typical of the Bhutan-Nepal-India Terai submontane region. Flora Typical flora include sal forests with common teak, rain tree, shirish or albizia saman lebek, and bombax, also known as silk cotton tree or shimmel. Bamboo groves, terai grassland vegetation, and tropical riverine reeds. Goramara is home to numerous tropical orchids. Topic <laughs> fauna. <laughs> The park has recorded 50 species of mammals, 194 species of birds, 22 species of reptiles, 7 species of turtles, 27 species of fish, and other macro and microfauna. Mammals, the park is rich in large herbivores including Indian rhinoceros, gaur, Asian elephant, sloth bear, chital, and sambar deer. 
Small herbivores include barking deer, hog deer and wild boar. There is a comparative lack of large carnivores, with the only big cat being the leopard. The park is not home to any resident population of Bengal tigers, Indian wild dogs, or Indian wolves. Tigers are, however, occasionally spotted here. It does have numerous small carnivores including various civets, mongooses and small cats. The park has a large resident population of wild boar, but the critically endangered pygmy hog has been reported from the park. It also has numerous rodents, including giant squirrels. The rare hispid hare has also been reported from the park. Birds Birds at the Goramara National Park include submontane forest birds like the scarlet minivet, sunbird, Asian paradise flycatchers, spangled drongo, and Indian hornbill. Numerous woodpeckers and pheasants inhabit the park. Peafowls are very common. The park is on the flyway of migratory birds including the rare Brahmini duck. Reptiles and amphibians – The park is home to a large number of snakes, venomous and non-venomous, including the Indian python, one of the largest snakes in the world, and the king cobra, the world's largest venomous snake. Conservation issues The major conservation focus of the park is to maintain a viable breeding community of Indian rhinoceroses. However, the lack of large predators has caused significantly worrying skews in the populations of large herbivores in the park. The rhinoceros male-female ratio, usually 1 to 3, shot up to 1 to 1 resulting in male dominance fights and deaths. The gaur population also doubled in recent years, with risk of overgrazing. Poaching was a major issue in the park in the 1970s and 1980s, but now Goramara is one of the parks least threatened by poaching, with well-equipped rangers and with villagers benefiting from park visitors. However, grazing from fringe villages, and man-made brush fires are major issues at the park. A recent issue at the park is the increasing number of train accidents involving elephants on railway lines near the park. Three elephants were killed in separate incidents on the same day in May 2006 in train mishaps. Indian Railways and Park Authorities are presently trying to address the problem. 1. Park-specific information Activities The best way to watch wildlife at the park is to use powerful binoculars, with night vision facilities at night, from the numerous well-located watchtowers at the park. The watchtowers are Jatraprasad Watch Tower, named after a legendary elephant Rhino Observation Point, watch tower in front of the Goramara Forest Bungalow Chandrakyur Watch Tower, Old Kunia watch tower near the Murti Forest Bungalow Chukchuki Bird Watching Point, good for birding there are no ranger-led or otherwise four-wheel drive vehicle or elephant back forays into the jungle. Hiking is permitted on metalled roads, but is slightly unsafe considering the population of elephants, gaur and rhinoceros present in the park. The park is closed in the monsoon season from 16 June to 15 September. The best time to visit Goramara is from November to March. One can also visit the adjoining forest villages to get acquainted with the lifestyle and culture of the villagers. A live show of the ethnic tribal dance can be seen every evening in Budhiram Forest Village. One can visit the Ladagori Nature Interpretation Center for an interpretive exhibit of the local natural history. <laughs> <laughs> Lodging The Park Forest Bungalow is an old wooden rustic cottage which has a watchtower overlooking the salt reservoir. Accommodations are also available in River Wood Forest Retreats, a four-star resort overlooking the Goramara National Park in Murti River and at Goramara Elephant Camp at Dupjora. One can stay in newly constructed cottages in the Kalipur village at the fringe of Goramara built by the State Forest Department. There are many private resort at Latagori and Ramsai. Topic approach nearest airport, Bagdagra, Darjeeling district, West Bengal about 80 km away nearest railhead, broad gauge, New Mainagori railway station, New Mal JN and Halsa, Jalpaiguri district, West Bengal are approximately 18 km, from the park. Important rail station, New Jalpaiguri. 
Nearest highway, NH31 between Siliguri and Guwahati passes over Ladagori, the entrance to the park. Nearest town, on the one side Ladagori is 8 km from the park's entrance and Ramsai is other part of the national park. Nearest city, Mainagori is 17 km from the park. The city of Jalpaiguri is 42 km to the south of the park. Best way to reach, New Jalpaiguri is connected with any part of India by rail rot. Tourist can hire a taxi or use the public bus to reach Ladagori or Ramsai. Buses starts from Siliguri NJP every 15 minutes for Mainagori. It is 90 minutes journey. There are plenty of buses from Mainagori to Ladagori or Ramsai or tourist can reach New Mainagori railway station by train 13141 Tista Torsha Express, 15959 Kamrup Express, 12377-05725 Padatik Express Link. It is 20 minutes journey to Ladagori or Ramsai from Mainagori. 13149 Kanchankanya X, reaches New Mal JN every day. Bus or taxi may be used by travelers to reach Latakgori. NJP or Siliguri Mainagori or Malbazar Ladagori or Ramsai Other visitor attractions Ethnic Forest Village Tourism Nature Interpretation Center <laughs>